A. Okay, students, we're going to do question two, yeah? Um, I hope you have tried it and uh, given your best effort to try it, yeah? Don't just wait for me to do the video and then, uh, you know, get the answer from me. You still have to think a bit, right? So, um, the thing about this question is this. Um, you, you do have to form equations and it is not equations, actually. You have to form inequalities. That's why students may find it a little bit um, different from the ones that they usually do. So, let's have a look at it, yeah? Um, the scores. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the number of participants who got the score. So the first thing you must be able to tell from this question is what is the data and what is the frequency? Obviously the data will be the score, right? The score cannot be frequency. The data, uh, the frequency would be the number of participants. So in this case, 3 people got 1, the score of 1, 2 has the score of 2, 5 has the score of 3 and so forth. So the number of participants would be the frequency in this set of data. Alright, so now it says find the minimum value of x if the mode score, so the key is this, the mode score is 3. The mode score is 3. Um, mode means what? The one that is repeated the most, right? The one that has the highest frequency. So can you see the one that ha has the highest frequency? That's 3. So this is the highest frequency, 5, right? And the mode is therefore 3. Okay, since 3 is the mode, it must have the highest frequency. That means all the other frequency cannot be more than 5, right? So x cannot be 5. If x is 5, if x is 5, that means the mode would be 5 and 3. They would have both the same, uh, uh, the same number of frequency. So x cannot be 5. x has to be something smaller than 5. What is the number that is smaller than 5 but the biggest number, maximum value? So that means x would be 4. That's right. That's it. There's no working, you know. So you can just write A, right? X has to be less than 5. So the, the maximum value, so maximum of X is therefore 4. If you want to write, that's the logic behind it. And this is just one mark. Yeah, this kind of question will just carry one mark. All right, now let's move on to B. The minimum value of X if the mean score is greater than 4. So now, the mean of the entire score, the average of scores for all the participants uh, would have to be more than 4, would have to be more than 4. So what is the value of x that you must have? But it says it's minimum, alright? So now, you're going to form an inequality because they say the mean score is greater than 4, not equals to 4. So you cannot form an equation, but you form an inequality. So to form an inequality, um, you write it like this. Um, how do you get mean? The formula for mean is you times and then you add all the data. So right, let's write it like this. Eh? The formula for mean is given to you, so don't worry, equals to sum of fx over uh, total number of data. That's the formula. And mean, so uh, let's put it this way, sum of fx means this is fx, uh, frequency times data. So that's, um, let's write it here, it's 3 plus 4 plus 15 plus 4 plus 5 times x is 5x, all right, divided by total data, so that is 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus x, right? Okay, that's mean, and it says that the mean has to be greater than 4, so then you write this is greater than 4, so there's no more equal here. Right, so this is the inequality that you're going to form. So now simplify the inequality as much as you can. Okay, so that would be um, 26 plus 5x. Eh, it's not bigger than 0. What is this? It's bigger than 4. <laughs> okay, so down then it's uh, over. Uh, that is 5, 5 is 10. So it's 11 plus x has to be bigger than 4. Okay, so uh, I'm going to move up here, yeah? Let's move it up here. So 26 plus 5x would be bigger than 44 plus 4x. Shift, shift this over, shift this over and just multiply as usual. You do this as if it is an equation, yeah? So 4 times 11 plus x, that's 44 plus 4x. So now shift everything over so that you can find your x. So x would be bigger than 44 
minus 26 and x has to be bigger than 18 right that's 18 18 plus 26 is 44 okay so the minimum value of x so that means x has to be bigger than 18 so what's the minimum of x if it has to be bigger than 18 therefore x would be the minimum of x when it is bigger than 18 is 19 right x can be 19 20 21 22 the smallest number is 19 so that is the answer for b all right so the only thing that is tricky here is the fact that it is greater than you form an inequality instead of an equation all right you have to understand the meaning of minimum value